Hello guys and welcome to Klaus Gaming. Today we're going to play some Call of Tomsk 7. And this is a game that was made by one guy, I think, Daniel Mercier, it says down here. And it was recently released on Steam. It's a, it costs about one dollar, so it's not a, exactly an expensive game. And I guess it shows a little bit in the artwork here. Let's start the game. So the controls are right here, action on E. AD to move, and we can switch through the different weapons there. One is a Molotov cocktail, I guess. Second one is some gas, and the third one is an axe. Fourth might be a mine. R to reload, throw item on right mouse button, or shoot the gun on left mouse button. So let's move. So just aim with the mouse. So here's a <laughs> monster. <laughs> oh shit, need to reload. Angry beetles. And that one's wearing a tie. Must be dead researchers. Or stockbrokers, I don't know. Let's take this out. Ah, it's moving faster now. Oh shit, I paused the game. <laughs> uh, I was hoping I would jump, but of course there is no jump button. Ah, <laughs> I took the head clean off. All right, so uh, Tomsk 7 didn't work out for us that time. Let's try again. I guess I should have uh, switched to uh, one of the other weapons, maybe. Let's just test them out. So we throw Molotov cocktails that should create some kind of fire. Second one is gas, I think. Yeah, and we have this axe, we can throw that, or we can just keep throwing axes. No, we only had three. And the fourth one, that's a mine. All right, so now we know what, what we're doing, I think, almost. <laughs> so let's try again. Of course, we're down a little bit on the ammunition. What the hell is that? Some kind of potato, oh, there's one from from the back. Oh, crap. What the hell? Ah, it's no problem. We'll do it again. Start game. So now we have the controls down. So I think we'll start out with a Molotov cocktail, really. So the background has sort of watercolor -y scenery. And the music is really eerie. And we haven't met any monsters yet. A little uh, house over there. Here's the first monster, so you have to hit them in the head or they just get angry and come at you faster. So let's uh, remember to reload this time. It's a nice mansion here. I'll reload again here. I don't like those roars in the background. Must be a big monster. Out of the ground, this one's running. So, I wonder what happened at Tomsk 7. I guess this is some, some sort of 2D uh, call of proprietor, something like that, a stalker. Let's try and uh, hit one with an axe. Next one, this one. <laughs> Can we pick it up? No, we, lo we lose the axe. Okay, let's go back to the Molotov cocktail in case uh, comes a lot of weird monsters at us at one time. So what's this? That's ammo. Oh, here's the chopper. There's more stuff. And then what? Can't proceed to the left, so we have to go back this way. Let's 
those angry beetles. Ah, uh, have a Molotov cocktail. Ah, there's a guy from the back here. Oh shit, the beetles, the beetles. Oh, press E, I can uh, get them to move away. <laughs> ah, <laughs> the beetles ate our brain. Uh, that's actually quite difficult. Let's try again. So I wish we could have started from a checkpoint. Now we have to go through the whole thing again. Or maybe we were close to a checkpoint before the beetles ate our brain. Do a little dance here. Do 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 Yeah. Here's the eerie music. So the scenery is the same. Just reload. Continue on. The music sets a nice mood actually for this. Try and conserve some ammo this time around. So we'll do headshots exclusively. Like it's Counter Strike uh, DE nuke or whatever. Just imagine we're heated. And this is an AK 7. 47. So now they are coming from behind. The reloading is, uh, is a big problem always. So here, have some gas. Take care of this guy. <laughs> Took half a body away in one gulp. It was going so well. Fucking beetles. Let's try again. Alright, so now we have a Soviet Ushanka. I'm here with 35 Molotov cocktails. Alright, let's do that. Start game. We got a nice hat as well. Russian hat. Bearskin hat, probably. So I get some Molotov cocktails as uh, the first button. So now we are rolling. We have uh, 35 Molotov cocktails. Bearskin hat. And an SMG. And a gas mask. What can possibly go wrong? So have a Molotov cocktail, jackass. So we're doing good, making a little victory dance here. But maybe we should not get too comfortable. Just put down some fire there, in case there were more beetles, but it doesn't look like this. So all of these items that you can unlock are very useful in getting further into the game, I suspect. A cocktail. That doesn't do anything to the beetles. A gas wheel, I guess. Uh, we can uh, we can just stand in the gas, of course. We have a gas mask. Put down more gas. <laughs> ah, that's very effective against these beetles. More gas. Oh shit, we're out of gas. Let's run back. Oh no 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 <laughs> no 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 Ah, I that brain, I think. Ah, damn it. It was working out so well with the gas, but <laughs> an incredible amount of beetles. Maybe it's harder if you uh, if you have <laughs> if you have these items. 
The A face helmet arms you with 35 landmines. All right, let's do that. Let's roll with the landmines. <laughs> we have a full samurai suit. That's incredibly useful in a nuclear holocaust. Now the Beatles for sure will be scared. Do a little victory dance before doing anything. I just feel optimistic. All right, come on. Where's the monsters? They'll fuck you up with landmines. We all think you about this. Oh, that's my first guy. Ah, oh, Beatles. I hate the Beatles. Okay. Ooh, I have to have a landmine. Oh, fuck. Doesn't do anything. So we need to get the gas ready for these fuckers. Seems like a waste of can, maybe. It's not that many of them. Switch back to the landmines. Let's just put out some mines. I'm sure there's gonna be a swarm of monsters in a little bit. Beatles are the biggest threat. But they only take one shot to kill actually, so yeah, so just conserve a lot of ammo. For a situation like that, where some jackass comes out of the ground right next to us. Let's get some gas. Waited out inside the gas car. So many beetles. A dude from behind. Shit. Too many beetles, too many beetles, too many beetles. Ah! No gas, no gas. Ah! Let's try again. Um, what is this? Oh, we can switch between uh, different guns. So let's try this gun here. So I also think that we can actually call in. Um, Extra ammunition and so forth. Pressing E, the chopper will come and drop a box with something. We only start out with uh, two of these gas, gas cans that are really useful against the beetles. Let's head into the gas here. The gas doesn't do anything to the walkers, but it takes care of the beetles. Let's try and just keep moving faster. Alright, let's bring out the gas. Stand in the cloud. Wait for these beetles to come out. Alright, time to move on. Let's try pressing E, see if uh, we'll get the... Just the chopper. Hopefully it'll bring some more gas, because we're out of gas. And the gas seems to be the only way to really survive. Feed on slot. Let's see what's in here. It's just ammo. Didn't get any gas. So we have the landmines. And the Molotov cocktails and the axes, that's all. I need some more ammo. So now we have two more uh, gas cans 
for these speeds. Time to use a gas can here soon with these beetles. Chop. Drop some more ammo for us right here. We out of ammo, I think. No, we. Ah, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah, shit. All right, guys. <laughs> That's as far as we got in uh, top seven. This game is uh, one dollar on Steam, so pick it up if you think you might enjoy it. It's actually quite a uh, quite good. Native America headdress, arms you with 35 tomahawks, and a really nice look. Alright guys, that's the game, Call of Tom 7. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.